appears that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has fallen for a bogus internet hoax video. Big surprise, right? Uh, now, on Monday, the Congresswoman shared a video purporting to show a mother walking into her son's classroom, tearing down a pride flag and arguing with the teacher. Mm, so this video has been making its rounds on conservative social media, uh, and oh, they're all very worked up about it, and like, yeah, go mom, yeah, except it never happened. Nonetheless, Green saw it and posted this. God bless this mama. I stand with her. Teachers are paid by taxpayers. The parents get the LGBTQ propaganda out of schools. Yes, the, the propaganda just showing that LGBTQ people exist and deserve to be treated like human beings. Yes, that propaganda though. Right, that's what she says. Uh, now, the video, as I mentioned, not real. Of course it's not. According to Rolling Stone, the clip was a small part of a six-minute comedy sketch posted Saturday by, on Facebook by a content creator known as Jabrizi. In the last 20 seconds of the full video, Jabrizi and the cast of the sketch appear in front of the camera and say very clearly, hey, this video is not real, it's fake. Okay. In, sa in fact, he said, hey guys, this was all a skit. Asking the audience for their opinion on the situation. Comment down below. We can't read to read, uh, wait to read your comments. So... This is basically an example of, you know, rage bait. You know, showing these out, so-called outrageous situations to gin up engagement and all that stuff. You know how it is. It's, it's Facebook, it's Twitter, social media. You all understand how this works, okay? Uh, now, this is a part of uh, Jabrizi's content. Again, clicks, comments, shares, that's what it, that's what it uh, is meant to do. Uh, in another recent video caption, Karen tries to give man flyer and gets rejected. Jabrizi spars with a young woman, offering him an otherwise blank piece of paper with the Black Lives Matter logo printed on it. Other sketches on his TikTok implement a fake podcast format, which Jabrizi and fellow content creators ramble off hot takes as women clad in lingerie mill around in the background. So again, the content is supposed to be reacty. It's reacty content, whatever. And... In being reacty content, uh, content, it was made to get people angry, certain types of people, and promote engagement. Mission accomplished. And boy, does it work. <laughs> okay. The edited version of Jabrizi's Pride, uh, Pride Flag video has been widely shared by prominent conservative commentators. Uh, one, uh, Megan Kelly, tweeted this. Parents have had it with the woke agenda pushing in class. Woke agenda. Woke. Okay. So already. The wokers. It's, it's the woke. It's the woke, everybody. Woke, woke, woke. Now, she uh, then realized uh, that the incident was staged, adding that her family, quote, dealt with this kind of nonsense for years in New York City. Worse, actually, it was all too real. Uh, to which I have to say, bullshit, bullshit. Totally going to call BS on that. Uh, now, other right-wing influencers, including Ollie London, the Hodge twins, and Dr. Anastasia Maria Lupis, who's a COVID denier, uh, I'm sorry, COVID truther, also shared the edited video and praised the so-called mother for her actions, which, of course, actress. But when Green realized it, here's what she posted. If this is fake or a skit, it's a very good representation of how, of exactly how people feel. But no, it, it's not though. That's the thing. <laughs> it, yes, it represents how you feel. It represents how a small minority of bigoted people feel, but not how most people feel. Okay. Look, if you're one of those people who are willing to assault someone over a pride flag, there is something wrong with you in your brain. You might want to get it checked out. That's if you can afford health insurance in this hell country. Look, the only reason that they would display an LGBTQ plus flag is to make kids who are LGBTQ plus feel welcome and validated. That's all it is. Flags do not turn people gay. Books do not turn people gay. There's literally no reason to oppose a, a pride flag unless you oppose the existence and the comfort and validation of LGBTQ plus people. That's it. And of course, 
that's the kind of uh, person Jabrizi's video triggered. And, well, let's just say the trash just kind of brought itself forward and made itself very, very well known like Marjorie Greene.